In this video, I'm going to share with you my five steps in creating unwavering faith and belief. Hi friends, Kathleen Cameron here, Chief Wealth Creator and Founder of Diamond Academy. We specialize in manifestation and law of attraction for purpose-driven entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. If you haven't done so, please do so now and don't forget to click the bell so you don't miss any of this amazing content. One of the biggest questions that I get is how do you develop more faith or belief in your life. And this is actually one of my favorite topics of many favorite topics. But faith for me has been a determining factor in much of my success. And so today I'm gonna share with you a little bit about how I see faith and belief and how they can help you to create the success that you desire in your life. The first step in developing faith and belief is to become self-aware. So you've heard me talk about this time and time again. You have to know you. So this is where you need to pay attention to your own thoughts. You need to pay attention to your own feelings and to know when you are lacking faith or where your belief is wavering. So faith for me is an incredible tool because what you do in faith is a hundred times more powerful than what you do without it. And this isn't just action, this is also in your thoughts. So a thought without a firm belief or faith in its outcome is a useless, fruitless thought. But a thought that you have conviction in, that you believe to be true, will manifest outside you in the physical world. And it's the same thing with your actions. So one of my all-time favorite quotes is, success is faith expressed in action. So what you notice is the word faith expressed in your action is the key because when you take action and you don't believe it's going to work, you take action and you don't have faith that the outcome is going to be what you want, you are just moving in the mechanical. You are not accelerating yourself forward. So this is what I mean by faith can make your action a hundred times more powerful than without it. Many people will also ask me the difference between faith and belief. And I love this because a belief is something that you believe to be true. It is often something you've heard from uh, somewhere outside of yourself. Somebody told you that and you heard the same message and you developed a belief about it. So self-belief. Many people do not have a very large self-belief. They think others can do it, but they do not believe they can. They also hold a belief about their level of worthiness, things like that. So what you believe to be true will always be your truth. Faith, on the other hand, is a little bit different. It's not just about what you believe in or don't believe in, but there is a magnetic power in faith. Faith will actually pull things towards you. And then if you express your action in faith, you're moving towards it while it comes towards you. And this is where quantum leaps or collapsing of time happen, which is what so beautifully has happened to me over the past two years. So faith is something that we all have. It is something that exists in your life. So the second step to developing more faith is for you to see the faith that you have in your life all around you. So a beautiful example of this is that you call an Uber. You get in that car and you sit and you wait for that driver to take you to your destination. You have faith that that Uber driver will drop you off at that address that you put in when you ordered the car. It's the same thing when we order something from Amazon. We do, do so in faith that Amazon will deliver to us. And so we have a little joke in my community. We actually call uh, Amazon Prime, we call it Universe Prime, because it's the same concept. The things that you order or you ask for using your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions will show up at your door just like an Amazon package. So this is where if you have faith that it will come, it will always show up for you. So how can you grow your faith? By seeing 
seeing all the faith that you have all around you, but also observing the areas and the times in your life where you do not have faith. The third thing for me is to understand that faith is not in just the things that you can see, but faith in the things that you cannot see. So it's not walking by sight, but walking by faith. This is so beautiful. And so you can't always see the evidence. You can't always see the proof. But if you have a belief that things are happening around you that you can't see, then that's what will happen. And so then it makes it easier for you to walk in faith. The fourth step in developing more faith is to study faith. So there is a chapter in Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill on faith. That was the very first time I started to study this idea. And I would highly recommend that you read that chapter several times, maybe even every day for a couple of weeks until that message really starts to hit home. And the final step is to change your thoughts around faith. So when you are observing your thoughts, when you are noticing the way you feel and you notice that you're doubting something, you're lacking in belief, you don't think something's going to happen, change the thought. So this is where you replace with a new thought, an opposite thought. Replace it with a thought of knowing, of unwavering belief in absolute faith. As Price Pritchett would say, you must act as if success is guaranteed. This is acting in faith. If you found this video helpful, feel free to share it with a friend. And if you want, in the comments, let me know which step you're going to implement today to help you create unwavering faith in yourself. With gratitude, Kathleen.